Hi folks, how's it going? Just a quick video about integration of uh, Automation Anywhere with Salesforce. Uh, so what I'm trying to achieve uh, with this uh, Metabot is to perform uh, quite a few level of uh, actions uh, on Salesforce, which includes uh, some very generic things like creating an account. I mean, I've still not finished writing logic, uh, but I have the file ready for disable account, deactivate account, uh, um, you know, all those kind of good stuff. Uh, the things which I want to talk here about is basically uh, a Metabot, which is capable of accepting any uh, object within Salesforce and a corresponding input file uh, as an Excel file. Uh, for the reasons of creating entries, multiple entries uh, in that object. Uh, say for example, we wanted to create tons of uh, entries in leads table. We could uh, use this logic, create records, and it would accept the spreadsheet. It would accept the name of an object as a parameter and will make entries uh, into that table. Uh, and on the similar logic, uh, we can go about deleting entries from a one, uh, one object and we can also modify entries, uh, uh, multiple entries uh, for any given object within Salesforce. So the use case which I wish to demonstrate today is about uh, the lead creation and update of lead. So I have got few names here, email IDs and phone numbers, etc. And this is these are the leads which I wish to be created in Salesforce. Now, if you notice, I have uh, for purpose mentioned phone number and mobile phone as uh, the same for each every each of the leads. And this is the mistake which I want to rectify once these records are created using uh, this spreadsheet lead update in which the correct phone numbers are specified. Now, once this task uh, finishes, I expect uh, the last column J in the sheet one to have uh, the corresponding message if the action on this particular row was successful or if it had failed for any reasons. So uh, 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 automation anyway should be able to update this uh, column uh, for us. And so uh, the same logic for lead update. So if once the update is successful, we will see the update successful here. If it is not successful, we I expect to see a reason why it has failed. Now, uh, if we go back to uh, Automation Anywhere console, so what I have here is a task about create entries, which is pretty simple. Uh, is about first one is to establish the connection, the first line, the second reads and processes the records, and the third one is basically about updating the spreadsheet. I've done a bit of a hard coding, didn't want it to go too much into detail, but that's uh, j just just to just to just to showcase uh, what it is capable of doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, close this file, and the first action I want to perform is create lead. After that, I would perform an update lead. So if we see our uh, Salesforce at this moment. We have 27 records, so after it is run, I expect a few more records to be added into the leads table. So here we go, and the first is to connect to the Salesforce. So the authentication was successful, now we are into the Salesforce account. And I, we should see a spreadsheet popping up for a moment, and there we go. And uh, uh, this uh, task has finished. Now, if we do a quick count of how many entries are in Salesforce, I think I expect around 31 now. Yeah, we've got 31 records. That means each and every record within uh, the input file was processed successfully. Let's see if it is the case. So what we have here is we have a column G added, which says created successfully. So if we go to Salesforce now and uh, refresh it quickly, uh, let's see what we have got here. We've got scott.james at abc.com. Uh, scott.james at abc.com, here we go. And if we try to edit this record and see details, we have incorrect phone number. It's one, two, three, four, one, seven, this thing. Now what I want to do is uh, pretty much run this logic of updating entries uh, into this using uh, bot. 
So we go now switch to update entries. Same thing, it accepts the same input file. The only thing which is different is the index of the sheet, which is number two instead of one. Now I'm going to run that down. And same logic, authentication successful. Once it is successful, it will go about updating the records. And I saw something getting updated. If we go back into the input sheet, we would see sheet number two records updated successfully. So what it also does is it also ident it also appends the unique ID uh, for each record, and this is uh, quite good if uh, you know a Salesforce admin really want to um, you know scrutinize what did automation anywhere do. So we can see now these records are updated. So if we went back to James Scott. I should see number uh, 23456 and 001 successfully updated here. Now, as you can see, um, the, these are the incorrect number. And if I refresh this record, uh, I expect to see the correct entries, details. And there we go. We have now uh, all the entries created correctly with description such as created by John Doe. So I'm pretty much uh, this could be used for anything. You know, we could we could go about updating any kind of object without any limitations. So that is all I really wanted to um, showcase here. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, please do let me know. And thank you very much for watching.